Well, it's Saturday. It's what? Close 10? And today was supposed to be just Mystery Machine Day. And I do plan on working on Mystery, but I sand that hatch and cut through, so I'm going to put a primer on it. And I went ahead and... This thing, I'm not going to buff it. Look how good it is. It's clean paint job. There's no use in buffing it. I buffed the burn area in. Done put it together. I told made Daniel deal if he'll help me wash it. Put the emblem and the license bracket on it. I would help him mask off his terrain. And then, and then I'm going to work on my mystery machine. I really am going to work on mystery today though. Unless something happens I don't know about. But this is, the customer's waiting for this car. And I need the money. I need the money really bad. I go through money like too much. I still have my brain getting this car back. Um, he'll be here. I mean, yesterday. It was just last night. Well, he's put, he couldn't get a ride, so. I said I would help him mash the terrain. He got a good jump start on me because I still was doing stuff on the Malibu while he was masking. But we're getting good and started now. We should be done masked off within the hour. Yeah. Between the two of us working on it. We, we should. This got reprimer before I cut through. So Monday, Monday should be a simple paint that thing Monday and hopefully get rid of it Tuesday. Here's the Malibu. Let's check out the Malibu now that we have it done. Customer's supposed to pick up this guy in a little bit. Today should be a decent, decent little, little money's day adds up, you know. The Challenger should be getting picked up. I didn't show you the Challenger when it was done. I'll show you it to you here in a minute. Here's this guy. Of course, it's wet now, but there she is, ready to pick up. Pending customer approval, I'll let you know if I'm happy or not. Here's that pretty Challenger. I don't know why I didn't show it to you done on yesterday's vlog, but I didn't, so I'm gonna. This rain's good because we had a bunch of pollen on all these cars out here. Really, again, pending customer approval, I'm really happy with that job. Turned out really, I think it turned out really nice. What do y'all think? I thought we get that pretty Challenger in there. That thing is pretty. This is one of Wayland's buddies, Brandon. Brandon, pretty cool dude, it seems like. I mean, if he's the, the guy that, same guy that he was when Wayland was hanging out with him, pretty cool guy. We'll get back in here and help Daniel mask. I keep finding excuses <laughs> not to help him mask on it. Not on purpose, but it looks like I'm having excuses not to help him. But he's the one that, you know, wanted me to post that he's getting her that thing should be he was talking like tuesday having it done we don't know we'll see pretty to, there's not much left once it's painted just for her life. well really in all honesty you could have hooked it up and made a made a uh, like a shower out. all right you, you fellas it is quarter you afternoon it's lunchtime. let's see remember what i said i was gonna do all day today, right oh i'm gonna work on my mystery machine all day today you ever just think, man, I'm opening it. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. There it is. This thing. I didn't do much to it. Daniel done most of it, but I helped him finish it off. The masking. He done 99% of the masking. And I'm, I'm, I'm offering to shoot it while he sends my van, but he's not digging on that. I'm just nervous about this paint. You know, this is a $18,000 vehicle. This, after lunch, I really, I'm serious this time. I'm planning on saying this thing after lunch. I've got the rear air compressor turned on. I'm gonna give me enough hoses out here. And I'm gonna strip that suck. Well, I'm getting ready to clean up some of this mess so I can actually work on my van. It's raining, so I'm gonna take some of these boxes out back and we'll make sure, I'm gonna, yeah, make sure that the boxes are empty. I'm definitely gonna make sure the boxes are empty before I burn them. That's another story. Now we're ready to work on the mystery. And this is where we're starting, guys, up there. Thinking about, man, I don't know. If I strip that top, once that top's stripped, I can just mask off the rest of the vehicle. 
from the drip rail down, shoot the top all in one go. Then have that out of the way and then just focus on the size. So that's kind of what, I'm, or I'm thinking about primering the top and this at the same time and then chasing this with paint. I'm not sure which avenue I'm going. But I'm, I'm wanting to get it done. The thing about it, this thing, my last van I done, the bodywork wasn't perfect by a long shot. I didn't even buff it. I, I'm, I think I might buff this one. Depends on how it turns out. But really what made it was just the cartoon colors on it. So, see it out there? So you can have bad bodywork and stuff on a van for one thing, they're wavy anyways. And when you got that much garbage on the side, it takes away from everything. So, uh, this is not gonna be a show quality vehicle. This is gonna be a real person's vehicle. That really gets used. That's what I'm. That's what I'm after. So I done my last one, and it was. We, we had great fun. Probably the funnest vehicle I've ever had, because of all the smiles that thing made going down the road. You see people take. <laughs> they be driving down the road, see they pull their phone out while they're driving and take a picture of your van. So that's kind of what I'm getting. Just trying to make a happy mood maker van out of this guy. Could be a thumbnail. Waylon's working on his little truck today. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He needs a little bit of help. Look at that roof. <laughs> he got brand new roof skin for it, though. Uh, you got to keep in mind, I'm standing on a stool that's probably two and a half foot off the ground. Let me get to my normal height. There we go. This truck is ridiculous. Look inside this thing. This is a beautiful Sale, but I'm saying this truck is loaded. What is it, Laramie? Yeah. Laramie SLT, not Longhorn, right? It's just Laramie. Which Laramie's fancy pants. Don't have a sunroof, which I don't really care because I'm not a sunroof guy. This is a beautiful machine. Let's see. He. Mm -hmm. I think I'm. No, I think I'm already videoed the bed skin going on. Maybe I didn't. Put a brand new bed skin on this side. She was a, a rollover, right? It must have been a flying rollover because for a rollover, it's not that bad. Yes, it's bad, but it's not like it smashed and laid on its top looking rollover. Maybe it did, but I think it's done a flying roll. And it's, it's like a monster truck. It's so stinking tall. Look here. Keep in mind, I'm right out six. I'm right at six. Look at that. Look how tall that crazy thing is. Look over here. See there? <laughs> So if that truck makes a guy six foot, 200 pounds look pretty small, that's a pretty big truck. Jeez. Huh? Oh. He's got a new skin. It is a beautiful machine. He's even gonna leave this brown, which I, 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 it's one of the things where I don't like the color, but this truck does pull the color off somehow. I don't know, desert storm type of somehow. It's classy. It's got a, that right there will play DVD players in it if you're set in steel. Looks like somebody took pretty good care of it until they flopped it. Well, Daniel's got the terrain painted, terracoated. Now it's left with some buffing. He's got three coats of clear, so he's got some pretty good room to stand and buff and still have plenty of clear left on it. I think it's gonna be okay get it unmasked and get it knick-knacked together. If you've done a good blend on it, I'm gonna say what I always say, paint never matches, you just gotta make it look like it does by blending it. So, it's gonna look pretty sharp once it's all buffed up. This vlog is done, it's not done. I don't know if I showed you yesterday, I don't think I did. We got the core support welded in place on this Impala. All right, love you. And I'm probably getting ready to, it's about quitting time, but I'm probably going to quit sand this and sand the bumper. So we can come in Monday, roll it in the booth and shoot it. And also Monday, I'm probably, not that I need to, but I got to do it sometime. I'm probably going to put Waylon or Daniel finishing this top. I've worked on it for, I don't know, a couple hours or so today, but there's so much real estate up here. Look at that daggone roof, how big that sucker is. You can see this gray. Every one of them valleys needs cleaned out. Well, 
Uh, the most of the back ones, I've got them pretty much, but you can see the little edges. Try to find something to strip them edges with, because it takes, I can do it by hand, but it takes a long time, and it's like doing it. I made a mistake of leaving this thing. It's been under this canopy since we started on it, but it still has flash rust in it. See here? The whole top looked like that. I cleaned this back half up pretty nice. I cost myself a lot of work by not addressing this sooner, but what happens when you got your own projects. It seems like uh, your stuff's the last to get worked on when you're a car guy. At least that's how it is with me and most car guys that I know. But I gotta get this thing done. So I'm probably gonna do some, do a little bit of company time on it along with Saturdays until she's done. I'm not saying every, every work day that I'm gonna put on it, but I'm saying like Monday, I plan on getting that top stripped Monday the rest of the way. Well, that top should be stripped the rest of the way. I'm not saying I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it. Probably gonna have one of the boys do it. While I'm shooting this Jeepers, they can be messing with that. And I do have fellas supposed to drop off a truck tonight or tomorrow. I don't know, one or the other. Supposed to leave the key in the key drop and then we're supposed to get on it. I'll probably try to get whatever that vehicle he's dropping. I'll try to get it in primer Monday, paint this Jeep Monday and get my top painted Monday. I still got my buddy. I gotta paint his car. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I might try to pick his car up Monday or Tuesday. I've been putting him off for months. Yes. <laughs> months. Lots of months. Supposed to do it last week. I put him off again. But I'm telling you, man, I mean, it's, it's just such a low paying job. It's so low paying. I, it's hard to make yourself do them jobs. And the only reason I'm doing it is because of my word. You know, the only reason I'm ever going to do the job is because I gave him my word I would do it for that price. But that going it. I got it. I got it. You know, business is business. I got to start being smarter on buddy prices, I guess you'd say. So anyway, we'll get off here saying this, saying this Jeep before I go home. I don't want to be here too late. I'm going to be here a little bit late, but I'm going to be here too awful late tonight. It's Saturday night. I'm always getting home late, and uh, it's not good for you. If all you ever want to do is work, I'm going to get this thing sand, show you what it looks like. Well, it's quarter after five, approximately, Saturday. And though I didn't get done all I wanted to get done, you can see everything that's shiny metal, I got stripped pretty good. I'm probably going to run to Walmart tonight. I'm thinking about seeing about getting something. I'll get down these little places here. These, these just need cleaned as far as the rust. See there? That's easy. The rust ain't that hard to clean. It's just a shame I had to, you know, let it set long enough for it could rust. But maybe Monday that, that roof will be ready to accept primer and then paint. But I, I plan on drilling the holes for the luggage rack first. I want a luggage rack on that top. thing, I did get it saying that here's the back bumper. I might take this pod off. That comes separate. I'll probably paint that off the vehicle because we don't have this piece that goes on it yet. So this is one of the times I'll probably paint that separate. Well, I mean at the same time, but take it off of that part. And got this guy sanded. Monday, hopefully, just come here Monday, get it in the booth and paint it. So, right before I walk out and go home, we're gonna recap what I got done. We have got, well, the Challenger was done yesterday, but it actually left today. Red Challenger. Check out my Instagram, you can see a picture of it done. Made a pretty car. Well, it was already a pretty car. I didn't make it pretty, it was already pretty. We just put it back pretty. Um, the Silver Malibu. Customers come and pick that up today. The Elantra that we put the brakes on and the tire on it or the sway bar link. Got rid of that thing today. And a feller stopped in and had a tailgate topper put on his truck that blew off. So, and then of course, Daniel got the train painted and I got a little bit of progress done on mystery. Spent more time. Eh, not more, but I spent a lot of time just cleaning out around it so I could get into it. By the way, there's cats living in my mystery machine right now. Yup. And <laughs> should have heard them things meow and the whole time I was saying like thing, meow, meow, meow. But hopefully their mom will move them tonight somewhere safe. Somewhere safe. 
I don't want to, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a, I'm not an animal person, but I don't want to get hurt. You know how that goes. Anyhow, hope you guys check back again Monday night. Nothing will be on here again until Monday evening. So appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys have a good weekend.